Refreshing Stories. My name is Hiroshi. I'm the director of the commercial real estate company, Devilish Buildings Building a Building. My grandfather used to own it. I call it DBBB for short. Our company's annual sales are in the tens of billions of yen. That's equivalent to 50 billion yen back in the Showa era, or back in the old days. I also have a beautiful wife, Remy. She's just perfect. Happy wife, happy life. What more could I ask for? Well, that was what I thought, at least. Like any other hardship in life, it somehow struck me from above, unexpectedly, just like Dragonfish Blow from Hajime no Ippo. Okay, Nancy. I'm not using the house or the multi-story parking garage right now. I'll give you a good deal since you're my friend. Really? That's fabulous! You're the best, Hiroshi. The house is quite old, though. It might be better to demolish everything before anything else. Oh, for sure! I was already planning to do that anyways. That house. Your grandfather used to live in it, right? Yeah, that's right. No offense, but I don't want to live in an old house used by some old guy I never met. It's dirty, needs a ton of work, and stinks. So I'll get rid of everything. What do you mean, no offense? That was very much offensive. Really? Japanese is so hard. Anyways, I'll move to the countryside and live like Meg Ryan. That's my long life goal. Whoa, who are you guys? Hiroshi Ohira? You're under arrest for all kinds of mischief. What? All kinds of mischief? That's a lame excuse to arrest someone. What am I charged with? You have to tell me the details. 3.34 PM, suspect Hiroshi Ohira is in custody. Wait, this has nothing to do with the Hanshi Tigers. Just come with us to the station. Wait a minute. I have three business meetings scheduled. It's millions of yen we're talking about. That's not our problem. We represent the government. A very annoying detective suddenly rushed into my office. I was utterly helpless and was taken to the interrogation room. What's gonna happen to me? Since when did cheating become a crime in Japan? That's just unheard of and absurd. It's not about that. We have evidence that you were doing drugs in your own parking garage. We know everything you did. Huh? My parking garage? Doing drugs? What are you talking about? Are you really gonna play dumb? Every criminal plays dumb at first. I'm telling the truth. You're accusing me of something I've never done. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl, skip one. Beautiful girl. See? You don't even have to blink. You heard me saying that and already knew what to say next. Skip one, beautiful girl. I'm innocent and you're falsely accusing me. That's what I'm trying to say. We found traces of drugs in the parking garage that you owe. So you're the suspect. Where is that parking lot you're talking about, by the way? It's a multi-level parking garage with an old house next to it. Can I see a picture, please? Here. What? What the hell? The parking garage in the photo was indeed the one I own. Yeah, that's right. It's the multi-level parking garage next to the house Nancy's buying. There must be some mistake, detective. I haven't been there for years. Then why were there drugs all over that parking lot? You'll know if you see the parking garage. It's not blocked off or locked. The bad guys must have gotten inside and used drugs. Do you get my point? Don't try to blame it on others. The neighbors also complained about teenagers making noise in the parking lot. Then why don't you interrogate them? Why are you interrogating me? But they came out of your parking garage, which is your establishment, which makes you the primary suspect. What are you talking about? I'm the owner of the building, so I automatically become the suspect? Since when? Why? Damn it! Stop confusing me! Can someone change the detective in charge of this case? This man has a weaker strategic approach than Shang Fei! What did you just say? Do you want to try me? Then he grabbed me by the collar. Just when he was about to throw me to the ground, his boss, Mr. Fujinami, showed up and saved me. I left the police station feeling disgusted and unlucky. Then I hurried to that parking garage they were talking about. And there they were. Hey, you three! Huh? Who the hell are you? I own this parking garage. Get out of here now! Fuck off! Are you the ones who were doing drugs here? Huh? What? You wanna buy some? Ow! I'm naturally high all the time, so I don't need any drugs. Then get lost! I'm only nice to you because you're the landlord. I don't need you to be kind to me. And I don't want any of you here. This is private property. I'll call the cops if you don't leave, right? Devil, Devil Rider Kit! Kit! <laughs> <laughs> that must hurt. Poor you. I'm so going to sue you for assault! Go ahead! I dare you! The detective in charge of this area is a useless guy named Hayato Chiri. 
He can't do anything for you. <laughs> yep, you're on your own, Mr. Owner. Detective Chiri was the one who falsely arrested me. He's famous in the neighborhood for how useless he is. People say that he's even more useless than Detective Mori. Thanks to him, I was beaten upside down, inside out. Eventually, I went home with bruises all over my body. Ow, ow! Be more gentle, Remy! You're such an idiot. I can't believe you went to confront some young punks and got beaten up. You're weaker than the starting character in Dragon Quest. That's how cowardly and weak of a person I am. No, in your case, it should be. A cowardly and weak person who gets cheated on, am I right? Wow, that hurts. Leave the dirty work to the cops. They get paid with taxpayers' money to take care of those. I don't trust them. The police are utterly useless. You're more useless than them. You can't even fight properly. I don't have as much free time as you think. So stop messing around and making my life more difficult. Don't be so cold, Remy. I'm colder than Polar Bears' toenails, but more beautiful than any of your exes. That's why you married me. Wait, you're leaving now? I'm gonna catch a late movie with my friend, so I'll be back late tonight. What? Again? You've been spending time outside too much lately. I'm always out with my friends because you're so boring to be with. Well, anyways, bye. I wanted to curl up in bed after being treated so coldly by my wife, but that old house and the multi-story parking garage are important assets I'm selling to Nancy. When pests gather, you must spray them with pesticides to destroy them. So I came up with an idea. I decided to pour concrete into traffic cones to make a barricade. Usually people would put traffic cones in the beginning, and if that didn't work, they would pour concrete into the traffic cones. It's a simple method to stop people from moving the traffic cones. However, I hate beating around the bush. I'm a very straightforward guy, so I'll take straightforward countermeasures. Those punks need to know that they've messed with the wrong person! <laughs> Look at their cars. They must have invested quite some money into them, but they'll get wrecked soon. This is so exciting! <laughs> Life is full of unexpected chains of events. Terrible things can happen any minute. Ah! No! Hey, is everything okay? Does it look like everything is okay? My car is fucked now! It must be that piece of shit owner who put the cones here! Huh, he's got some balls, I'll give him that. He sure knows how to get rid of loiters. What shall we do? Hey guys, look! The management will not accept responsibility for damage, accident, or loss. What the hell is this? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna report this to the police! Stop, you idiot! If you report this to the police, They'll want to know why we're here and what we're doing. Then they'll eventually find out what we don't want them to know. Sorry. Then what can we do? We can't enter the parking lot anymore. Just watch. I'll get revenge for you with my car, Black King. <laughs> the next day... Big impact! What the hell is this? What's going on? Wait a minute, wait a minute! How is this possible? When the delinquent's cars get damaged, they would normally say something like, Pay for my damage! And I'll say, I don't know what you're talking about! You deserve this! After that, isn't this how things should normally go? But look what they did! They broke the cones! And these are the ones that are filled with concrete! Holy crap, come take a look at this, Oira! Now what? Are you kidding me? They're completely dissing you! Those goddamn delinquents! They're smarter than I thought! They're delinquents, after all. Uhira, there's a lot of crime in this neighborhood, right? Why don't you call the police? Because I feel great when I climb progressively higher walls. Stop quoting Mr. Children's lyrics. Can I really have a life like Meg Ryan in this place? Doesn't the future look pretty worrisome? I thought the same. So I reported the damage to the police and requested that the detective in charge be someone other than Detective Cheery. However, the police station is in the countryside so they only have a few officers. I would have to wait at least three months to get a new officer in charge. That's way too slow! Everything that happens in a democratic country is so slow. Every. Single. Thing! What can we do then, Uhira? They've left me with no choice now. Those who disrespect the Ohira family's property, I'll make sure they get the punishment they deserve! I installed multiple security cameras in the area where they usually hang out. All their shady business will be recorded from now on. Just like what the detective said, 
I need evidence to show him that the delinquents were using drugs on my land. I was naive to think that giving the police the security footage would bring this annoying drama to an end. It was much more complicated than I thought. Oh look! The house is empty! Seriously? That landlord guy must have been scared and ran off with the front door unlocked! <laughs> Let's go in! Wow, look at all the food on the table! There's alcohol too! <laughs> He's so dumb, I can't believe it! Nice. Let's have a feast and hang out here today. What about our cars? Just leave them in front of the house? Moron! What if they give you a parking ticket? Park our cars in the parking lot as usual. And then we party in the house! I can't wait to sleep in a soft bed tonight! Yeah! yeah! From a distance, I watched the delinquents dancing around in the house through the real-time feed of the security cameras. After they got high as usual, they all went to bed at my home. They had a lot to drink, so I'm sure they won't wake up that easily. Hello? Police officer? Someone broke into my house. Can you send someone to help? Shortly after I made the call, the useless Detective Cheery showed up at my house and arrested the delinquents. Meanwhile, I devised another plan and waited for the delinquents to return after they were released. And then... Alright! Steer clear of the danger zone! What are all those people doing here? Hey, how's it going, delinquents? It must have been tough for you guys at the police station. You are! That detective didn't ask you anything about the drugs, did he? Of course not! He's too useless and stupid to connect the dots and trace the drugs back to us! Oh well, forget about it. I already gave up on fighting you guys. Then why is there a crowd here? Oh, them? We're demolishing the old Ohira house and the multi-story parking garage today. All these people came up to watch the demolition. Demolition? Using explosives? Yeah. The new owner wants everything gone, so that's what we're going to do. What? Wait a minute! Our cars are still in the parking garage! Alrighty. Everyone, let's start the countdown to the demolition of the buildings! No! Don't get so excited yet! Five! Four! Three! If you blow up our cars along with the parking garage, they'll get destroyed! We won't be able to claim insurance either! Two! He's totally ignoring us! One! Stop! Fire in the hall! Ah! Thank you! Thank you very much! You son of a bitch! Do you really think you can get away with this? What are you saying? The only thing I did was blow up my own house and my own parking garage with explosives. But your demolition process was illegal! I got approval from the city for the demolition method I used. It was perfectly legal. Ugh. Even if that's true, you'll have to pay for what you did! We're gonna beat you up, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Who is this guy? Why is he so strong? Is he a monster? I've already experienced your level of violence last time. Why would you think I'd come unprepared this time? Are you playing dirty with us? It's only natural to reinforce what I lack. Just like Three Kingdoms. Every hero needs a good sidekick, don't you think? We parked our cars in that parking lot, and you've destroyed all of them! You have to compensate us! What? I'm not responsible for any cars parked in my parking lot without permission. Haven't you seen the sign I put up at the entrance? It says, The management will not accept responsibility for damage, accident, or loss. Were you blind, or can none of you read? No! Uh, but you destroyed our cars on purpose! How is that legal? Our cars! We each spent over 5 million yen on them! Why did you park illegally if those cars were so important to you? Shut up! Shut the hell up! <laughs> you sound more adorable when you're mad. You can go ahead and sue me or call the cops. The choice is yours. But I have to remind you, I have all the evidence of everything you guys did on my property. I can hand it over to the police anytime. Uh, shut the fuck up, you annoying piece of shit! If I give the police the security footage of you drunk driving and using drugs, even that useless detective can easily charge you with multiple offenses, you know? I successfully suppressed them in terms of both violence and argument. As per Nancy's request, I had already decided to get rid of everything on that land. So I was going to demolish the house and the parking lot using explosives from the beginning. 
As for those delinquents who were squattering in my parking lot, I handed the security footage as evidence to the police, proving that they'd been drunk driving and using drugs on my property. Those are some serious criminal offenses. I thought, everything's finally coming to an end. However, there were two more things I needed to share with you. First of all... What? You're not buying the land anymore? Of course I'm not! There's no way I'll live in that dangerous neighborhood. Not to mention the fact that the detective in charge of that neighborhood has a brain of a three-year-old. Guess I can't live like Meg Ryan after all. Are you serious? I demolished everything for you! I'll pay you the termination fee as stated in the contract, so cheer up, Ohira. If you have any good deals that can make my Meg Ryan-style life come true, remember to let me know. And then, second of all... UNBELIEVABLE! I got a message from Remy when I got home. She told me she wanted a divorce over text. To sum up, what she essentially said to me was, Your revenge on the delinquents was so childish and evil, I don't feel safe around you anymore. I feel like you're gonna kill me if I cheat on you, so I want a divorce. What do you mean, I'll kill you? If I killed everyone who ever cheated on me, I'd be the most wanted serial killer in the world! I would need to kill over 80 people! I cried desperately after seeing Remy's message, but no one would care how much I cried or be there to listen to my story. So I messaged my friend. Hey, Bunta. Do you have a minute? I really need to talk to you about something. What's wrong, Ohira? What is it you want to talk about? Can you investigate my wife? I think she's cheating on me. She's cheating on ya? How many times have you gotten cheated on in the past? I lost count, but I'm sure my current wife is having an affair. I explained my situation to Bunta in the message. I highlighted the last part of Remy's message and asked Bunta to look at it. You don't think I'm making blind accusations here, do you? She must be cheating, right? Yeah, sadly, you always get cheated on. And this time ain't no different. It's the same as a flat-chested girl saying, No, I'm B-Cup, right? Do you get my point? Do you agree? Eh, uh, I guess. Right? A-Cup is A-Cup, don't you think so? It's like a guy who's 159 centimeters tall saying, I'm about 160 centimeters tall, give or take, right? Yeah, guess so. I know, right? This situation is exactly a case of 159 centimeters, right? So please investigate her for me. Thanks. After that, thanks to Bunta's excellent investigation skills, Remy's affair was exposed. It almost became a routine for me to get divorced and receive compensation from an ex-wife. But there was one piece of good news for me. Hayato Chiri, that useless, stupid detective, got transferred to a very peaceful small village in the middle of nowhere. And this is how it happened. Hey you, what's your name? I'm Machiaki Chakai. What are you doing here? What am I doing? I'm just practicing juggling. What are you juggling? Chiri ended up arresting a famous magician, brought him back to the police station, and interrogated him. This false accusation became a heated topic, resulting in him being transferred to a remote location. Detective Chiri did some serious damage to me. Thanks to his false arrests, I lost three business deals, got beaten up by delinquents, lost the deal with Nancy, and got cheated on by my wife. After being struck by a series of five unfortunate events, if I were the Demon Slayer story, I'd become the demon myself! God damn it! Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!